Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly, this is a love reading. And you know, I like to shuffle on camera so that you can see if things fall out like one just did. So, you know, this is what you're supposed to see. You're supposed to see the shuffling. I mean, that's how I feel about it. I'm, I'm about being authentic, so bear with me while I shuffle. Service. I feel good when I help others. Fell out. I have to take it. Now, like I was saying, this is for the week of March 12th through the 18th. This is a love reading. If it doesn't resonate, then so be it. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, you should probably not be watching this because I don't want to confuse anybody, okay? This may not resonate with everybody. Just take what does and leave the rest. Are you guys letting go of something? Something that was perhaps, maybe it was addictive. Maybe it was a little chaotic. It appears that you guys are letting go of something um, because it wasn't bringing uh, balance and harmony to your life. And there's no need to hang on to something that isn't bringing you harmony, right? Yeah, it's like there's a change of course. And the thing is, is you guys have probably been resisting this change of course. Because you have. I mean, somebody has been resisting letting go. But it feels as though there's some sort of lack of control here. Like, there's things are out of control. Things are out of control. And this could be at home. It could be at your work. It looks like you're struggling. It is. You're struggling to get get through something. There could be a, addiction. Somebody could. There could be some extremes here. Something that's happening, kind of in crisis mo crisis mode. Um, maybe there's some kind of controlling energies. Maybe somebody's trying to control you. Okay, and maybe that you're feeling like they're holding on too tight. Something is clingy, clingy. It's like they're clingy. And perhaps you are wanting to do something else. It's like, uh, maybe you're thinking about leaving. You know, maybe you're still thinking about it. That's why this change, of course, is here. But it hasn't happened yet. Because you're still thinking about it. Be but because you probably built a, something f uh, that you thought was solid with this person. You might have be living with somebody that you're thinking about, you know, not living with. Yeah, it's like the, you may be rejecting an offer because you deserve more. Maybe you're feeling like, you know, I deserve more than this. So I might have to go look someplace else for my wish fulfillment. Maybe you're, you're looking in a different direction at this point for wish fulfillment because wherever you are at wasn't stable and secure as you thought and you're looking for more stability and security. So you have to complete one, one um, chapter of your life. You know, but I do see that you guys are holding on to something. You're resisting change. Or you were. You know, here you were. You're, you're starting to let go with this being reversed. But this is still resisting saying, hey, you know, this is going to be a struggle. And you can't escape it. You may be trying to escape some reality here. Okay? By going to extremes. Maybe you're, you're covering up with drugs or alcohol or spending or some kind of addiction. But it appears that, that many of you want to go down a new path, okay? You want to do something else, but it's a struggle to be able to go do something else. Perhaps you have, you know, you you have this romance to offer. You have this love to offer someone, um, but it's not where you're at right now. Interesting. Let me get this zoomed in. 
Maybe this, this could be just you wanting romance, you wanting this ultimate wish fulfillment and knowing that you have to start someplace else. This is the fool card. Okay. Maybe that this is just you wanting this happily ever after, but you deserve more than what this is deserving more. I deserve more. I deserve more than what you're offering me right now. Okay. Because you're giving, you're giving. And I see that you are, um, What is this Knight of Cups next to the hangman? Resisting love? Is somebody resisting love or not resisting giving love? Res and you're thinking you deserve more. You want more love, right? You want some more love? And this has been a real struggle and you've been pretending that everything's okay. And you're starting to let go because there's no, there's no forward movement. It's not working out. What is this? Yeah, it's like you've been fighting for something. You've been fighting for something. And you know, it feels like you've been through a lot with somebody. And you're ready to give up. You're ready to give up. Yeah, but just a damn struggle. Hang me in twice right next to each other. It's a struggle, isn't it? It's a struggle to let go. Change is scary. It is. So I feel like many of you are wanting or you're thinking about letting go of something. And you know, I think you're starting to have a new perspective. Your eyes are starting to open. You may be starting to look outside of the relationship or what that wherever you are, you might be deciding to look out, start looking for somebody else. You might be starting to look for somebody else at this point. I'm just telling you what I see. Because it feels like you've been cheated. You may feel like you've been cheated. That's the seven of swords. You may feel like you've been robbed. And somebody is in denial. Somebody isn't telling the truth. Somebody is being dishonest in this situation. And you may have somebody who's trying to help you. Or you may be interested in somebody else, you know, that you could build a, a firm, solid so foundation with. It feels like somebody has been being dishonest with you. And now you're probably, you know, wanting something more solid, okay? You're ready to perhaps um, start over someplace else. Okay, you, maybe you're thinking about offering love to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a new beginning in love. And I think you, but the thing is, you, I think you, have, you might have a choice between a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, and one of them, and one of them is making you feel alone, and it's it's leaning towards this water sign, okay, because it's more over here. I feel like there is some sort of battles that you've been going through with a water sign that is making you feel very lonely, and like I said, there's crisis mode here. Somebody's feeling like they're in crisis mode, like you know, I think I want I want to do something else, but. I'm not sure if I'm making the right decision, and I feel like you've, you're feeling isolated, you're feeling lonely and rejected. And you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe there's a, because this is Taurus and this is Taurus, so I feel like there is, your intuition has been trying to tell you something. Your intuition is trying to tell you what to do, and you're being called to listen. Somebody is harboring a secret, and you know what it is, whether it's you or the other person, there's some kind of secret here that you know about. I think you are seeing this situation absolutely clearly. Okay, you are. Your inner guide is telling you what you need to do, and I think it's just a struggle for you to follow your inner guide and actually do it to take action. Because you don't want to make anybody unhappy, because this is exactly what you are. You like to help others, and you might have to, you know, let's hurt somebody, and that's not who you are. And I feel as though right now there's a lot of unhappiness here because you don't want to hurt anybody. And the thing is, is that there's like, this is unrealistic. This is the three of wands reversed. There's like no future where you currently are, right? There isn't. It's like there's unrealistic. It's like there's nothing new happening where you're at right now. And it's very intense, isn't it? It's very intense. It's like it's very, um, there's a lot of challenges here. 
Well, there is. There's a lot of challenges. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who can be very spiteful, and so you're treading on um, water or on thin ice or whatever you want to call it. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who could cause you some trouble, and so you know you're trying to handle this um, as as well as you can. And it feels like this is really hurtful. There's some kind of suffering here. There's some kind of grief, whether it's you or the other person or both of you. I mean, change is scary. And I think that what's going on here, somebody's really, really hurt. They've been either cheated or lied because there's cheating. With the, with the seven of swords right next to the three of swords, somebody may have cheated. Okay, maybe you, maybe it's the other person. But there's some kind of either feeling cheated or actually being cheated. Okay. And it feels as though you can't you can't pretend anymore. This is no longer it's not an illusion. You are with this high priestess seeing things absolutely clearly. And somebody has been keeping secrets, and that's all there is to it. And it's hurtful. These secrets are hurtful. And now you have to put yourself back on top and you need to fight for what's right. You need to fight for yourself. Because right now there's no, it's like there's lack of communication. Nobody's talking about anything. There's no forward movement. And I think the love, because these are the rods of love as well, they're reversed. Are, the love is starting to um, dissipate. Yeah, and there's been a lack. There's, I mean, eights are the time is now. Somebody has been procrastinating. These eights are both reversed. Somebody is absolutely procrastinating. There's no more energy. Somebody isn't reciprocating. They're not. There's a lack of energy. There's a lack of communication. And, you know, if another eight right here, it's, it's just like somebody has to make a move here. And stop pretending. It's like, I realize what's going on. I know what's going on here, and I'm not going to pretend anymore. It's time for a change. It's time for me to take the next step in this situation. Because it's a disaster. I can't concentrate on this loss anymore. I have to go find love. Because there's no more growth here. The tower with the knight of, of wands reversed. There's no more growth. There's no more action. There's a, la there's a loss of passion. It's time for me to use the resources to let this go and move forward. I have to take action. This is action. I have to take action to bring success and love to my life. Even though I'm scared of change and I've been holding on, but this is getting old. And there's no more growth. I can't manifest newness into this situation. I think it's really unfair. You may be feeling like you can't move forward. You're really scared. But it's time for your happiness, right? It's time for happily ever after. It's time for fulfillment. It's time for permanent love, right? To get there, you have to be aware of your con the consequences of your choice. This is the lover's card reversed. Something needs to end so that you can find your happiness. There's a contract... That is false with the tower card under here. It's a false contract. A false union. Perhaps you moved into this unit union way too quickly. And now you're seeing that this isn't working out. 
And it's time to, and you accept that you see the truth. You do. You have a high awareness here, Cancer. You know exactly who this is and what's going on. I see the awareness. I see your clarity. And your inner guide knows exactly what this is. And I think that you're thinking about finding your happiness elsewhere. But you're struggling because you don't want to hurt anybody. Because you're a caregiver. I feel good when I help others. And this is what this is about. There's a new door opening for you after you shed the baggage. You drop this burden that you've been hanging on to. This is the Ten of Wands. This is a new path, a new door, a new partnership. A new passionate partnership. Once you drop the burdens and the baggage that no longer serve you. Right now, it's like love is being thrown away. And you may be feeling dead inside and you're ready to become alive again. I need to feel alive again. And it's time to move away from this situation because it's not what I thought. This is the Two of Cups reverse. It's not working out. I have to go find my wish fulfillment now. And have faith. Is wish fulfillment with a Taurus or an Aries? It's time to get my life back on track. This is what he does. He takes the lead and he's the boss. It's time for you to be the boss and bring structure back to your life and find the wish fulfillment and a strong, firm, solid commitment. So that's what I have, Cancer. I feel like this is a week about of accepting the truth. Because that two of swords is there reversed. It's, it's accepting the truth. Following your inner guide. You're highly aware of what is exactly is what is what is going on. You are. And taking action. And to the guy that's from another country that emails me every time I do a cancer reading, please don't. It's not you, VL. You can email me whenever you want. I'm talking about this other guy that's gone overboard. Um, but I like I like uh, I like the other guy. But anyway, um, just saying, I had to throw that out there because I'm certain he's going to send me a an email, and it's just nuts. So anyway, um, but for for the other guy, Vinny, uh, no, I don't mind hearing from you. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I had to throw that out there. Um, there's a there's an emotional. Um, upset here and it's time for you to take action talk to you later